get in your hole! Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we are going to be playing round number 5 on the Four Nations Golf event, which is being contested by Scotland, England, Wales and Ireland. I'm sure most of you know the script now. We are going to be playing here at Dunholm Manor Golf and CC Club. Um, it's meant to be a close representation for the K Club. I'm going to be honest guys, I'm not a huge fan of this course. I think it's... A lot of it is down to luck. Um, some of the pin positions on this pin set number four are brutal. We are playing off the back tees, which are playing 7,684 yards. So, let's go guys. This is Kafloss 1991's pick, by the way. So, good luck to all the guys. I am aware that Tim has went. I've got no idea what he shot. I'm not going to reveal it either. Um, Tim's had issues. He was hoping to have his uh, video uploaded by now, but he has, is having internet issues. So watch out for Tim's video. Good luck to all the participants, guys. So we do have a five mile per hour wind. Just going to try and fade this round the trees and hug the the tree line here. This is very different winds to my uh, two practice rounds. It was almost going to be one and a half practice rounds, guys. I've got no issues. We're revealing to you guys, I actually rage quit half through my, my second round on this. I just got so frustrated with this course, I was getting no luck. The bounces and the breaks were getting, was unreal. So hopefully I get a bit more luck today. I'm going to need it to compete here with, especially calf loss, who is on fire. So 148 yards, up 5 feet. Greens are firm, 5 mile per hour wind. So just taking a touch off of this, guys. This, this should now go about 146, this 9 iron with the firm greens with a bounce. We are on a down slope, but we'll add a few yards to our ball as well, but it will also go to the left. So just want this left of the flag, about 10 feet short and kicking on. That's really hanging up. Oh, wow, look how far left and short that's came up, guys. So I'm probably going to have about a 10-yard chip shot from the edge of the green. 7-yard chip shot. Just going to fully loft this up and see if we can get this stopping 3 or 4 feet from the cup and uh, working its way in or towards it. Why wow, that's came up really short. That was a bit of a timid, timid chip shot there, guys. So we're looking at a six-foot putt for par. My swing is in a really good place, guys. Um, like I say, I work so, so hard on my swing. Um, just at times, what lets me down is my putting. Putting's going to be a huge factor in this course again, guys, because the greens are brutal. So we do start off with a par. Hole two is 412 yard par four. Wow, really mild winds. This is completely opposite to what my practice round was in. So a few shots are going to be completely um, new to me here. Once again, good shot. The wind's taking that round nicely in the middle of the fairway. And that should kick on. So good drive there. We have managed to nail that 301 yards. So 118 yards. Now, when I took a bit off of this in the practice round with a four mile wind, I went way long. So I'm just playing this. We've got a two mile per hour wind. I'm just playing this. Hopefully this is going to be about 115 yards. This should go with a bounce. Good contact again. The line's good. Oh, what on earth? Wow, I'm, I'm puzzled by that one there, guys. How that's came up so, so short. 26 feet short. This was a birdieable hole. I think I birdied this every time on the practice round. So if it's now a tricky putt. It's going to turn to the left. It's broke more than I lied, but with good weight on that. We had a really, really good weight on that. But some of the greens here are absolutely disgusting, guys. I'm not going to lie. Some of the pins. It's a beautiful looking course. I think it's a fairly close representation to the K Club. But, um... It's just, uh, it's not on a par with the other courses we've played yet to date, in my opinion. So hole three, guys, is a par three. Stroke index 10, playing 206 yards, 3 mile per hour wind. So let's come down to the five iron. Just going to let the wind take us round to the right. As you can see, the green does slope to the right. So I'm hoping my ball kicks to the right and runs up towards the flag. But once again, flawless swing. I am so happy with my swing at the moment, and this should be good. This could this could go in. No, just going to turn a bit too much. But we've played that really, really well, guys. Just taking a touch off the five iron there. 
and um, we're going to be left with a four foot putt. It's hopefully going to be the first birdie of the round. It is. So let's see if we can now kick on from that here, guys. I think 70 under is going to be a tough score to beat in this round on this course. So hole four is the first of a par fives, playing 574 yards, and it is the easiest hole on the course. The fairway slopes off to the right here, so I'm putting this way left, just going to let the wind hopefully take me round and see where the bounce takes us. And just absolutely pounded this drive. The wind is moving me a lot more than I expected for a four mile per hour wind, but there you go. Hopefully this holds on. Yeah, it is. So we're going to be playing second shot from the right hand side of the fairway now on practice rounds here guys um i am on a bit more of a severe slope here i think that i had i'm just going to go through the tree and use the tree as a bit of a, a stopping block here and hopefully leave myself a pitch or a flop shot it makes its well through the tree fairly well oh i think i got a bit more heavy contact there than i did in the practice round but it came out Probably going to be a slightly longer shot than what I was used to. Yeah, I was I was about 30 yards flop shot. So let's see, 36. I don't want this to go too long because I have done that and it spun all the way back off the slope and left me with about a 12 foot putt. So this one I'm just wanting to leave a bit short. Hopefully it checks up. Minimal spin. And that should leave me about a 5 to 6 foot putt for birdie. I think I've played that fairly well. Yeah, really happy with that. So a six foot putt for birdie to take us to two under. So back to back birdies there, guys. We are starting to make a move. Like I say, I did say to the guys I was going to get my round in on Sunday, but my plans have changed now. But it's nice not to be out first. I think this is only the second time I've not been out first. Um, Tim went out before me. Like I say, guys, I have no idea what he shot. Go and check out his video. It will hopefully be up to date. So 7 mile per hour wind, just going to let the wind take its round and hopefully we uh, hold on to the right hand side of the fairway here. It's another good strike. And a promising looking shot here. Like I say, really, really swinging well guys at the moment. Just my pattern needs to, to improve. And we've nailed that 304 yards. So 190 yards up 20 feet. 9 mile per hour wind here. And the green does break to the right. So we're lofting this 9 iron up a good bit. Let the wind take its round. And hopefully this break on the green counteracts the wind as well. I'm just going to allow the wind to take me round to hopefully about left hand side of the flag. There we go. And that should... It's going to push its way away from the cup, but I'm quite happy with that there, guys. We're probably looking about a 10 to 12 foot putt for birdie. I think it's going to be downhill. It's an 11 foot putt. Downhill. I am actually getting over this one, guys. It's very rare, like me, you'll notice, to get down over putts, but the amount of phantom breaks I get in this game. If you watch someone like Kafloss play, he's very robotic. He takes his time in every shot. Um, I'm more a natural player. As is Tim and Phil, they don't take their time as much as calf loss. Maybe we should start doing it though, because he he's just so so much on fire us now. But that is a great birdie putt. So we get to to three under par. It should be so three consecutive birdies, guys, and we are going along nicely here. Oh, now this is so tempting to hit the three wood here because the winds I've had it's always been a six wood and a six wood. This has changed the complete complex of this, this round here for me because I've never... Oh, this is so tempting. So, so tempting. No, I'm just going to get... I'm going to hit the six wood, guys. Should get about 245 yards here, maybe. I was hitting 255 in the practice rounds and then it was a six wood approach shot that I was landing... Most times went 10 to 12 feet for a birdie, but that's going to come up short. And now I don't think I'm going to be able to hit the six weed with this win. So this is a total different hole now for me. Practice rounds not helped me out at all here, so it's going to have... To... Nah, I can't make that with a six weed. So I'm going to be so far in between clubs here, guys. I'm going to fully loft up this three weed. And I still think I'm going to be long. 
probably going to leave my cell in the middle of the green here. So fully lofting this up. Don't like this shot. I know I'm not going to be short. I know I'm not going to be short, but it's how far along I'm going to be. That wind's really took me around. Oh, we could be, we could actually run off the back of the green here. Ah, uh, that's going to be a monster pack, guys. Now, for those of you who know, I know some people don't agree with it. I chip if I'm off the grid. I do chip in real life. I do chip in real life. There's nothing in the rules of golf at state. You cannot chip from the green. You can use any club in the green. You can use a driver if you want. So, 57 feet down one foot. We're actually saying this is about an 18 foot. 18 foot chip shot. So, I'm just going to lock. This is tough. This is so, so tough. So we're lofting this up and I'm hopefully going to find the slope and just get it trickling down towards the cup. This could go wrong. This could go wrong. So far in between clubs there. Check up. Oh, it didn't check up at all and that could work its way off the green here, guys. Do you know what? I would have maybe actually been better patting that, to be fair. I've not executed that well at all, so we're going to have a 13-foot putt for the par save. Not much in this one here, guys, to be fair. Just going to play this right edge. I'm going to play it firm. Hopefully it holds its line. And that's a great putt into the centre off the cup there. Wasn't much in that at all. So we're going to remain at three under par, guys. Hole number seven is a par four. Stroke index 12 playing 415 yards. This is going to have to be the three wood. Yeah. Once again, it's going to be a different shot because in the, the practice I was allowed to hit driver because I had a, a strong wind into my face. Good strike. And that should probably be in the centre of the fairway here towards the, the edge of the fairway. So played that well. Maybe could have actually hit driver there, actually. Yeah, I think we could have hit driver there, guys, and left ourselves a closer shot. But, so 142, 140. Let's say it's playing 139. Firm greens. Just going to loft this up and go right at the flag here. So we have lofted that up two touches. I'm hoping it bites near the pin. This should be good. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, it didn't sit down. It's, oh, we've caught a slope. It's all I can imagine. Must have caught a slope there, guys. So we're probably going to have an uphill putt, which is not a bad thing. Yeah, so a four inch. This is what I'm saying about the pins, guys. It's so, so tough to get close to these, these pins. It's, it's a four inch uphill putt. 17 feet. It's going to turn to the right. Is it going to turn? Oh, just missed that on the left edge, but a good way to putt there. And that's going to leave me about a four foot putt for the par save. But like I say, this pin set is absolutely brutal. I've never played this course on any other pin set. It's a beautiful looking course, guys, but my issues is with it. There's too much riding on luck on this course, not skill. So, hole number eight is a par three, 199 yards. This is the, this is the, the green I hate. Have a look at this, guys. It is absolute comical. I've not managed to play a good shot on this yet. You can't get near the pin. No matter what you do, I always go to the right. So, with this wind here, I'm hoping it's going to help me. I'm hoping that we're going to bounce from the fringe of the green on. I've set that way left of the flag. I'm hoping to bounce from the fringe on. This could be good. Oh, this could be nice. Oh, sit down. Oh, nah, it's going to find that slope. Bye bye ball. And that's what I'm saying, guys. Stupid, stupid, stupid flag. Now, this could cost me a shot here. It has done in practice rounds because I'm going to be left with a very tricky, tricky putt. A 27 foot putt, one foot up. That's going to turn extremely to the left, as you can see here. Just an awful pin position, this, guys. Just looking to get this close. If I can get this win four or five feet, I'm happy. This has got a chance. This should turn. 
Now this should come back in itself. Get in. It's in. Oh, guys, wow. Where is the golfing gods when I need them? I just don't seem to have that luck at the moment. I just don't seem to get a luck on another day that drops. But that's how stupid that pin is because it swells back towards the cup. So, we're going to stay at 3 under par, guys. Hole 9, par 4, playing 473 yards, stroke index 16. So, oh, the, the way we should land here, our ball should slightly kick to the left-hand side of the fairway. Once again, happy with my swing, guys. This should kick left, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So, we've played another good drive here, guys. 298 yards. So 176 yards to the flag, down three feet into that wind. That wind's actually going to help me out here. So just... The green does break to the right. Okay, I'm happy with this. Let's take this on. Just lofting that up. One touch, a tiny touch here, guys, just to give it a bit of a bite in the firm greens. And hopefully we land a good bit short of the pin. And it should turn towards the cup for us here. This should be nice. Sit down, turn towards the cup, sit down. Uh, once again, it's just going to trickle on a bit, guys. But really, really happy with that approach shot. Probably going to be about a 10-foot putt. 11-foot putt. It's going to turn to the left. There's not much. Once again, not too much in this. If we play this with a nice, firm, firm putt here, it should turn to the left. I'm playing it firm to take the break out a bit. And that's a great putt, guys. And we do get to four under par. So my putting so far today, guys, has been pretty good. So we are four under. Said Tim's two under there, guys, but this isn't. Uh, these leaderboards aren't accurate. I wouldn't. I wouldn't really go with it. So hole ten is another par five. Must make birdies in the par fives, especially with the quality of players that we've got playing in this competition. Um, I think I've failed in a few previous events to to take um, advantage of the par fives. But this course can... Birdies are so far and few between. So, I'm going to try and kick this on the green here, guys. I'm going to try... See this left-hand side of the fairway? The ball should kick extreme right. Let's see if I can do that. I'm going to try and kick the ball right onto the green. If it just hits the front edge of the green, you're in with a real shout of eagle here in this course. Good strike. The wind's taking me round now. This is where I need this to kick right. Yeah, we could be in the right location here. Come on, come on, come on. This could be a whopper. Oh, it's just checked up. Just checked up. We just missed the front edge of the green there, guys. If we did, that could have been a wonder shot. So, there is a first disconnection. So, we're going to be left with a chip shot here, guys. It's a shot of not being executing well. But this is certainly makeable for the, for the eagle. And it would really improve my score here. That's in. That's in. Boom. So we do manage to pick up an eagle, guys. And I tell you what, we are on for a really good round currently. And we are now six under par, guys. So, so happy with us so far. Six under through ten on this course, guys, is a uh, very, very um, exceptional, to be honest. So three wood. I have tried to hit the driver and not had much luck. Just due to bounces. So good shot. I'm hoping to hold the right hand side of the fairway here, guys, and open up this uh, green here. We've played that well. That's going to nestle up nicely, and that's gave us a good line, a good line into the, the green here. So, 143. I'm going to come down to the pitching wedge here. With that wind behind me, and I'm just going to take a good bit off it. See if we can get this a good firm bounce. The green really slopes away to the left-hand side, as you're seeing. So I'm aiming right at the green. It's another horrible pin position. Good strike. Very good strike. This should be all over this. This should be nice. Come on, sit down. Sit down! Oh, it took a monster bounce. That took a monster bounce, wow. And I tell you what, I've got a lot of work to do here, guys. I have got a lot of work to do. Wow, I can't believe how far 
that bind. So we've got a 20 foot putt, five inches up. Going to turn to the right. Not a nice putt here at all. I didn't hit it. Didn't hit it. But there's our pitch mark, guys. Look at that. Criminal it went so far past. Pitch shot was probably about eight feet short of the pin. So we do manage to pick up the, the par there. That was a poor birdie attempt, if I'm going to be honest. But we're going to stay at six under, guys. So, so far, so good. Tim's at four. So it looks like we've got a, a competition on our hands so far. So this is another awful, awful pin position here, guys. So let's see. Let's use this wind to hold us up. Really lofting up this 5 iron as you're seeing here guys. And I'm really relying on the wind to, to do its job here. Not a fan of this pin position here. I'm just going to let this hopefully... It really breaks to the left here. The green feeds all the way to the left. So we're just hopefully hitting that part of the green. I'm going to let it feed towards the cup. That wind's taking me more to the right. Come on. No way. No way. I think I've had... There's no way that wind should have took me that far right, guys. I think I'm actually going to miss the slope now. Yardage was bang on to. I, I just... I'm just not convinced that sometimes... The inconsistency of these winds. So this is now a brutal putt, guys. This is an awful putt. An 18-foot putt. Five inches down. It's going to be so hard to stop this ball. Just going to play this dead weight, basically. Watch how soft I play this. This has got a chance. This has got a chance. What a putt that is, guys. And I tell you what, we could be on for a very special round here if we keep this going. So we are 7 under through 12, guys. Really, really happy with this. So hole 13 is a par 4. Stroke and deck 7, playing 471 yards. Just going to fully loft up the driver here, guys, and use the whole of this fairway. When I see zero mile prior wins, guys, I, I think I don't I don't trust them. Sure I don't trust them. The and I tell you what, that went that, that wasn't a zero mile prior win because there's no way my ball would go 308 yards full off the driver. That win must have been about three or four mile prior wins to to get that, so 138 yards, let's see, 2 mile per hour wind, I've just lost this up one touch, this should be all over this guys, this should be all over this, just let me reset that, I've basically took 3, three yards off of this, it's playing 137, firm greens, that's came up, that's came up so short, can't understand how a two mile... See guys, now it's changed to a six mile per hour wind. I think I'm getting false reads. I think I'm getting false reads. That needs to turn. Oh, that didn't turn. That needs to stop. Oh, come on. Look at this. Wow. I tell you something guys, a two mile per hour wind shouldn't affect that nine iron as much as that. And this is an awful putt now. This could be a drop shot. Wow, man. This game at times is so, so frustrating. How can it go from 2 to 6 in the matter of a split second? I can't believe I over. It's just another tough pin position there, guys. If you go one foot past the pin here, I've missed that. If you go one foot past the pin, the ball's gone. So that's going to be a disappointing drop shot there, guys. Really disappointed to get a bogey here. Um, I do think, I just, I don't seem to get much luck in this game, to be honest. So, that is the first drop shot of the round, and that's going to take me back to 6 under. So, um, if I was 6 under at this stage, guys, I would have took it. So, I'm just going to compose myself once again. So, we do have 207. Ooh, it's fully, it's, it's got to be the hybrid. Just going to loft this up a touch, and rely on this wind to hold me up. The lioness wind to hold me up. This should land really softly on this, this green here, guys. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. This is going to be fantastic. This could actually go in. Sit down, ball. 
That is a fantastic approach shot, guys. It's probably the closest I've been on uh, out of the two practice rounds. Now, that's saying it doesn't look straight. This turns to the left, guys. Let me just have a look at this. Definitely turns to the left here. Not sure how much. There's no way this is a straight putt like it's claiming. Oh, my God. Wow. On another day, guys. I'll get in the breaks yet. There's going to be a round in this event that everything goes my way and I'm going to I'm gonna smash it like calf loss has done with a 15-16 under. So that's a disappointing par there, guys, after that approach shot. Once again, my pattern's coming back to bite me in the ass. So hole 15. We're still six under. Once again, it says we've got a zero mile per hour wind. Not going to believe it, but we're just looking to hit center of the fairway here in this tee shot. Another good drive. My swing has been basically flawless, guys, so far. So, so happy with my swing. And we've played that really, really well. 300 yards. So we should be left with, if I was going to say a seven iron, it's a six iron. One mile per hour, up 20 feet. So this is playing, I'm going to say it's playing 183, 183, no shut up Lee, yeah 183, let's say I'm just looking to land this on the slope guys, the wind will not affect us here at all, the slope's going to take us right to the right. How's that going so far left? How is that ball went so far left, guys? I had a slope there it was going to move my ball to the right. A zero mile per hour wind that's took me... Uh, I don't know. I can't... I just can't get my head around that at all. I really can't get my head around the winds here, guys. I'm... Confused by the winds. It's just not a level playing field when you're getting reads like this in the wind. So a 32 foot putt... It's going to turn extreme to the right. I've played that well. That should sit down. What on earth? What? That ball could run off the front edge here. <laughs> oh, wow, man. What did I say about this course? This is just not a nice course. I, I'm not enjoying it, guys, to be fair. Wow. And that could well be my round gone after... Ah, uh, wow. I don't think I'm getting fair breaks here. I can't. I just can't get my head around that zero mile per hour wind taking me so far left. So we need to chip this in for the part. Just going to come up short. So we're probably going to have a six foot putt for the bogey, guys. Just going to turn slightly to the left. Let's just power this in. Ah, this, this, ah, forget it. Let's go. This, let's just go. I did say at the start that this course is going to be so frustrating. Just the pin positions, but it's just like the game is, uh, just, I don't know, guys. Some of the, the unfortunate I'm getting are some of the things that should and don't, doesn't happen. You couldn't write this. So, hole 16, par 5. Wow, what a... Wow, did you guys hear the sound of the contact there? This should kick all the way to the left. And this is what makes this approach shot here, guys. I did do it in one of the rounds, and I hit water. So, I'm not going to be taking this on. Um, you're basically having to fade that. You need to hold the right-hand side of the fairway here to, to make that shot. And it's so much down to um, luck where your bounce is, and that's what I'm saying. So it's going to be a 5-iron, guys. I lofted up 5-iron slightly. I've just lofted this up one touch. Slope's going to take us slightly to the right. The wind will probably counteract that slope, and hopefully we're just going to be near the left-hand side of the fairway here, and we should leave ourselves, let's say, about 90 yards. So it could be the 85-yard club here. Let's see. Oh, 94 yards with that wind behind us. Let's say it's playing on the firm greens. Let's argue 93. This ball really spins back. So just lofting up this. 
Such a br brutal pin position once again, guys. If you're not bang on here, your ball will be 10th off. Put a slow on it. Too much talking. Put a slow on it, so it's going to be right. Yardage is going to be half decent. So I'm now going to be left with a very tricky putt here, 15 footer. This is really going to turn to the left here, guys. I'm just going to play this dead weight, absolute dead weight, and really let the slope, really let this turn towards the cup. I've played that well. I have played that well and it drops right into the center of the cup for the birdie. So fantastic putt there. Let's move on to hole number 17. Now I have birdied this every round. So we do have a six mile per hour wind. Like the look of that. This should land in the center of the fairway. Every time I've played this the ball's kind of kicked to the left. That should kick forward, onto the forward of the fairway, oh my god. Oh wow, guys, what can I say man, what can I say? Just, uh forget it. I did say at the start of the round that this is, I don't know what else I can do there guys. I hit the centre of the fairway, wow. Two practice rounds with slightly different wins, my ball kicked left. I've now got an atrocious bounce into the sand. So let's just see if we can get this close. This is a birdieable hole too. Disappointed. So a iron, relying on the wind. I've pushed that slightly right. The wind has taken me round. This should work its way on. This should be quite good, guys. Come on, come on. It should turn towards the cup. Ah, it's it's, it's going to be a tricky putt. Why? And once again, just the brutality of these pins. It's so so hard to get anything close. So I've got a 16 foot putt for the birdie. My putting's been pretty good today, guys. I've got no qualms with my putting so far. Didn't play it enough. The, I tell you what, the line was pretty good. Just didn't hit it up firm enough. And that's just going to be a simple two foot putt for par. So we're going to stay at six under par with... Uh, whole 18 being a par 5, I've birdied this every time as well. So if I can get to 7 under par guys, it could put a bit of pressure on Phil and Caffel. I do feel 8, 8 under might win it, but God knows, the way Caffel is playing, he could rip this course up if he gets the breaks. The ability Phil's got, he could also rip this course up as well. So. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I have no idea what uh, Tim shot. I could be second place here. No idea what Tim shot. So we've played that well there, guys. Um, oh, no, no. I was going to say with a tooth. No. Let's just lay up. Let's get the hybrid, and it should be a pitch shot, depending on the break I get with the bounce here. Edging this over the left hand side of the water here guys because this slope should take us to the right and I'm still not convinced That's a zero mile per hour wind So I'm allowing for a two three mile per hour wind here, which it has it's moved my ball as you can see And that's a good shot Should be about 40 yards from the flag if my calculations are close Yeah, 42 yards up three feet So it's going to certainly be a pitch shot, but it is another tough pin here um, just going to loft this up one touch and get this checking up really, really quick here, guys. Does break severely to the left here. So just aiming left, left center of the flag here. Hopefully it bounces and then checks up. Boom. Play that really, really well. And that's going to leave me a tap in birdie, guys. So seven under we're going to finish up. If I convert this, severe break to the left here. Let's just make sure that this one here got... Oh, of all times to get a disconnection. Let's drive this into the center of the cup. So, guys, I think the course threw me a bit of... Uh, 
awful breaks there, but I'm happy with my 7 under par, as you can see Tim was 4 under, go and check out Tim's video, go and check out Caffel and Enforcer when they put it up, good luck to the boys who have not played, I really hope you enjoyed that one guys, if you did spam the like button, hit the subscribe button and I will see you all in the next one, take care, peace out, love you all, bye.